and uh, you're on. Hi everybody, this is John from TriPower Auto and I uh, want to talk to you about a real outstanding car we have here at the shop, uh, a 1964 GTO hardtop. Uh, reason I say it's outstanding, it's because it only has 8,000 original miles. Uh, a one owner car that we uh, were able to help uh, acquire and bring to the shop and clean up for our customer. Uh, the car is original paint marimba red with black interior, 389 tri-power with the 4-speed, uh, close ratio 4-speed with 390 gear. Uh, with the 390 gear in the rear you also receive a metallic brake shoe and uh, the car also has in-dash tack. Uh, a couple other neat features on the car are the uh, transistorized ignition and the uh, reverb radio. It's got AM radio with a front and rear speaker with a reverb and it also has a custom sport wood wheel. If you start at the, at the front of the car uh, all of the chrome, the bumpers, the stainless, the emblems, everything you see, the headlamps uh, is all original to the car. Never been touched, never been off the car. It was a car that, that was stored in a three-car garage uh, bought by the original owner when he was 18 years old um, and really not driven uh, all that often. As you can see, it's got 8,000 miles and uh, uh, when we got the car we, we asked the, uh, the wife of the owner who has passed on, uh, why did this guy only drive the car uh, for 8,000 miles? She said, well, he had a lot of other cars at the time and he didn't have to have this car as a, a daily driver. He was 18 years old when he bought the car he obviously knew what he was buying. Uh, no power steering, no power brakes, all for go. Uh, really, probably the most high performance GTO you could order, new in 64, um, with the 390 gear and the high horse engine. It still has all the vacuum uh, operated tri power uh, pieces that a 64 should have. It has the uh, original. Uh, air cleaners and it has all of the original uh, valve covers and, and all the, the spark plugs, the spark plug wires, the cap, rotor. Uh, all engine part pieces are from the factory on this car. The transmission, like I said, is a close ratio transmission uh, and, it, and it shifts flawlessly. The, the shifter, the handle, the, the knob is all perfect uh, original to the car as well as carpeting, uh, floor mats, uh, and, the, and that headliner that you'll see uh, as you can see, it's the, uh, a crisp gray headliner uh, with, with the visors that have never really been, been you know, down. When looking at the car originally, I saw, uh, I opened up the glove box and there was the original warranty book with the Protecto uh, plate still intact with uh, the Community Motors Pontiac original uh, uh, business card with the original selling uh, salesman. Um, couldn't believe it. I shut it and shut the uh, glove box and I left it alone. We didn't even take it out of the car while cleaning it. The car also has tinted glass, which is all in perfect condition. Uh, has the original wipers, wiper blades, and it's just one of these outstanding cars that uh, you don't get to see a lot of uh, original paint cars. A lot of cars get over restored. This car is exactly how it was from the factory. Uh, the nice thing is, is that he did take care of the car uh, over the years waxing it once a year, driving it around the block, and parking it. That's basically what it did from about 1975 until about you know, three months ago. The car was from the Chicagoland area. He's a 1966 Richard J. Daly uh, window, a Chicago uh, city sticker in the window. And that is in perfect condition too. As you can see in the trunk, uh, the, the socket for the light, the hardware, all of the pieces that hold the rear trim on are, is perfect. If you look under the original floor mat, you will see uh, the floor with the caulking, uh, the body caulk as they did, as it was made like day one. The original spare jack and instructions are all still intact in the trunk. The spare had, had never been out of, the, out of the trunk as far as we know. The tail lights and the, the bezels uh, and the gas door on a 64 GTO uh, rarely survive uh, without getting restored uh, because they pit so badly. This one has the original paint from the factory still in the ribs and not flaked off. In 64 they actually had a service bulletin where cars needed to come back in and get that paint redone at the dealership because that paint was flaking off. This car has all of that original paint as you can see on that rear taillight panel. 
overall here at TriPower, this is one of the probably the best cars we've ever seen. Original cars. We get a lot of GTOs in here, and I must say that this is the best '64 I've ever seen. Personally, I, I follow '64s because I have one of my own, and I took special interest in this car. But overall, uh, probably the best original all-around car, uh, survivor style, uh, one owner car we've ever hear, had here at the shop. Amazingly so, if, if these cars still uh, find their ways into owners' hands, new collectors. Uh, our particular customer is, a, is an avid uh, GTO collector and the car will uh, now be put into a, a museum style collection, personal collection I should say, and uh, be cherished. Uh, probably won't be driven too much, uh, but just uh, exercised uh, every once in a while.